Arif Raker, and I'm sure uh, quite a few of you would know my passion for wildlife and specifically for primates. I've almost seen uh, all types of primates that exist in this planet called Earth. Today uh, I was lucky to uh, be in uh, Wichita, Kansas and a friend of mine, John, uh, insisted that since I was so inclined and passionate about wildlife, Let's go see something very unique and very special. So uh, we headed for the uh, Sedgwick County Zoo and we specifically wanted to see the lowland gorilla family. So we got into the uh, Sedgwick County Zoo and uh, we were able to spend almost an hour with the lowland, western lowland gorillas. Now let me tell you something about these gorillas. They are very social creatures living in family groups called troops. Now these uh, troops uh, consist of uh, a dominant male who decides when the a troop will eat and sleep. Several adult females and the young. Now males can also live in bachelor groups that consist of only males. The lowland gorilla is a quiet, peaceful, non-aggressive animal that will only attack and provoke. An adult male will protect his group with an elaborate display of chest slapping, head rearing and charging. As you all know, normally I see these wildlife animals in their natural habitat. I was able to see mountain gorillas in the Volcano National Park in Rwanda, which I have already posted. And these were mountain gorillas. Today I am talking of the western lowland gorillas and you would like to know what is the difference between the two. People normally place them in one group, the lowland gorillas and the mountain gorillas, but there are definite differences. These two subspecies of gorillas are often lumped into one as I told you. You will find that they have distinct differences. The mountain gorilla is larger with longer hair and shorter arms than the lowland gorilla cousins and can only survive in high altitudes of about 2200 to 4300 meters. The very purpose of my posting this video was to tell you that there is a definite difference between the western and the eastern gorilla. Now since the discovery that humans share 98.3% of our DNA with gorillas, making them our closest relative after chimpanzees and bonobos. Bonobos was the only uh, primate that I couldn't see. Most scientific Conservation and tourism traffic has been directed towards their massive rainforest inhabitants. We now know that there are two species of gorilla, the eastern gorilla and the western gorillas. Each of these are further than divided. The eastern gorillas are eastern lowland gorillas and mountain gorillas. And the western gorillas are western lowland gorillas and cross river gorillas. Now both these uh, subspecies live in Central Africa separated by a vast swath of rainforest and are both listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list. Now the western gorillas or the western lowland gorilla is the most numerous of the four species or subspecies with population estimates often cited at 100,000 or 200,000. However, due to their dense remote habitat, no one knows for sure how many exist. The least numbers is the Cross River Gorilla, which is confined to scattered areas of the forest in Nigeria and Cameroon, and is thought to number no more than 300 individuals. So, to add to the above, 
the lowland gorillas are much more likely to be seen in the trees and prefer a more heavily forested, flatter habitat than the mountain gorillas. So this was a short review of the different types of gorillas that I have encountered, some of them encaged in captivity and some of them out in their natural habitat in the Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. Hope you like this, especially those who are very passionate, very inclined, who have craving for uh, wildlife. I'm sure they will like this video and if you do, do subscribe to my channel.